there has been a new development, especially in the north, uh, in the national capital region, uh, in Greater Noida on the outskirts of Delhi. The Yamuna Expressway Development Authority has cancelled 17 housing projects. You heard that right. 17 housing projects have been cancelled. We're told up to 1,000 uh, families, if not more, are affected by it. There are several builders among those whose projects have been scrapped. That's what we are looking at this evening. Buyers are anxious and like I said, of course, it is a serious trouble for builders as well. Let me introduce my panel to you right away. I'm uh, joined by Sunil Tyagi, senior property lawyer, heads of a firm called Azios Law. Uh, Intrish Gupta, co-founder, Noida Extension Flat Owners Association with us. Also in the studio, Aftab Alam, he's a home buyer. And joining us uh, on an OB is uh, Rohit Raj Modi, member executive committee, Credai, which is the apex body of private real estate developers associations. Thanks all so much for taking our time to be uh, with us. Mr. Modi, I'd like to start by asking you, sir, you know, uh, we've heard, we've seen some statements there from builders today saying, you know, that this is nothing but a glitch and eventually our plans will get passed. But there are, of course, all those home buyers so very anxious. There have been no projects have been delayed. There's no sign of delivery on that. And this just means an other delay. No one knows how long. No, uh, you know, this uh, is very clear that the lease deeds of these plots have not been cancelled. Mm -hmm. Their building sanction plans have been revoked. Mm -hmm. And in some of the cases, as we have been told, uh, in some of the cases, these were the revision plans, you know, which uh, were uh, cancelled, which have been recalled or revoked because certain technical suggestions which were made by the uh, development authority were not complied with in time or not complied with at all mm -hmm. but that's a revocation of a building plan mm -hmm. uh, it's nothing to do with the you know revocation of lease or allotment of the plot mm -hmm. so i don't think the buyers uh, need to be anxious okay. the developers whose building plans have been revoked are already in touch with Yamuna Expressway Development Authority okay. and would be making amends to their plans at the earliest okay does that make you feel better, Indrish Gupta, you're the co-founder of the Noida Extension Flat Owners Association? How does that really make you make you feel? I mean, is, is there hope? Do you feel hopeful? Actually, the whole system is so corrupt that this nexus is running between builder, authority people, and uh, corrupt politicians. Why the builders allowed to construct their flats in from 2014 to 2017? Mm. Authority has given the objection in 2014 and 15. Then how they but are now that the authority has clamped down, the builders of course also tend to lose a lot. Their authority is just saving their skin because mm. the uh, uh, UP government has been changed. They are just saving <coughs> their skin. Or uh, they are now cancelling their maps. Why they are allowed to construct their flat? Okay, the Mr. Modi, would you like to respond to that? Look, uh, uh, I would not want to really react to the emotional aspect of it. The factual matter is that. Uh, uh, building plans of five developers across 17 projects have been revoked. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we don't have details of each one of those 17 plans, but mm -hmm. having spoken with a couple of uh, prominent developers out of that, mm -hmm. we have been informed that uh, it is essentially the revised building plan that okay. they had applied for. Okay. There have been some objections to that All which right. have not been adhered to. So uh, as the matter stands, they are already uh, taking action to get it uh, resolved. Okay, they're taking action to get resolved. We've seen some of them even call it a glitch. Sunil Tyagi, but many would ask, what next? Where do these buyers go from here? We've heard uh, 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 what Indish Gupta there had to say. See, what I feel in any case, whether whatever action any authority takes, mm. they have to keep in mind always the buyer's interest. Mm. So if they revoke any sanction plans, building plans, whatever, mm. they must ensure that it has no bearing on the construction. Mm. The projects, most of the projects are already delayed mm. and they are beyond the timeline, most mm. of the projects. <coughs> so if any action to stop the construction is taken, mm it will only delay the projects. Mm. So the alternative remedies have to be thought of by the authorities where mm. it has no bearing on the construction okay. or the con completion line of the project. Okay. It could be in terms of penalty or anything else, but not the construction. Okay. Now builder will get the excuse because of this over project is getting delay and they will not uh, pay the delay penalty. Okay. After while I'm coming at this point, you know, you've also invested in a newly launched residential uh, project. This is, of course, uh, there are people all around the country. We're, of course, talking about this one case because this has right. happened today. But there are people all across the country who are facing these kind of problems. You exactly. Know the problem that real estate is. But do you do you believe that this will get resolved soon? Do you believe that these plans as if will now, move? As if now, what I 
actually uh, know the uh, know about the our case our case is launched in uh, 2011 mm -hmm. and i purchased that in 2007 uh, 2013 mm -hmm. at that point of time a builder mm -hmm. is showing the some excavation work and just check the amount of 20 20 crores from 176 buyers mm -hmm. from the skywalk project on our project name is skywalk right okay. so at that point of time if the builder and authority no if they uh, che recheck the whether the construction has uh, there or not right they not the lots of builders are not actually uh, invested that much amount of money mm. right at that point of time what happened uh, last uh, last last month uh, authority has cancelled the even land also mm -hmm. so where we go we have gone to the ssp of noida greater noida okay. where That's where also point. we are not getting the exact answers from where okay. where, where where we represent at okay. we are we are don't have any builder is absconding also builders is nowhere the builder right. is there right okay so mr modi i wanted to come in at this point i i, I know that this is a tough place a uh, tough position for you to be in as well you know but and thank you for joining us on the program one of the many others that we reached out to uh, were not willing to be here on the program this evening but i do want to ask you know you, you said that this is an emotional issue of course it's an emotional issue sir because people have invested their life savings and and really people are not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel the problem is that there is a serious trust deficit what can we say what can we do to ensure that people who've invested their money get those projects that they have been waiting for those dream homes that uh, india especially middle class india all of us have you know always dreamt of Yeah, Natasha. Uh, not to be misunderstood, I completely empathise with uh, each and every uh, family which has invested uh, in uh, in the hope of getting a home, and uh, has not been able to get uh, their possession yet. Mm. Uh, for various reasons, projects have been delayed. Some genuine and mm. some not so genuine. Right. Creda is not really here to defend those fly-by-night developers who. have a no ethical conduct or no you know uh, professional management of work mm -hmm. but having said that uh, the problem at hand which you have raised that what is the solution for this mm. we are, we, we are facing some some very peculiar issues there is a situation there's one situation where because of a slow market for over last 3 years mm. uh, the Did developers have not been able that? to sell enough okay. and therefore there is not enough cash flow to construct the project that's one kind of a problem right second kind of a problem is where their sales have taken place but the funds have been diverted mm. now the larger challenge is with the second type of problem where funds have been diverted out of the project mm. where end of the day the law will have to take its own course if the Fair developer enough. is not uh, putting back the funds into the project to complete that right. uh, and i think advent of rera mm. which is just uh, 10 days that's away right. from now right. is going to be a big game changer where okay. where where unscrupulous fly by night guys will find no place in this okay how does that make you feel in ish gupta you know it it is of course the fly by night those who are just out perhaps to make a buck unable to cope and then there your money is is sort of gone but the point that um, mr modi is making that very often there have been some genuine reasons as well not fair to paint no them on the same reason. brush builders are making false promises since uh, uh, a day we uh, uh, we purchased the flat they are making false promises they are showing us false uh, drawings mm. they are just give, uh, showing us that the uh, uh, park facing flat uh, now they are giving us road facing flat mm. builders builders are making false uh, everything every statement false statement okay. Okay. over 2 lakh flats in mm. delhi and see our noida or get noida are delayed mm. we want uh, yogi government should take over all that these uh, delayed project mm. and complete this project after completion buyers will uh, get their flat okay. registered okay On completion, every like the chief minister of Uttar yeah. Pradesh now sort of yeah. get involved. On in completion, this. every flat buyer, uh, every flat buyer will give two point uh, five lakh rupees mm. on registration amount. Mean two lakh flats multiplied by two point five lakh. Mm. In this, five uh, thousand crore can be earned okay. through this. Okay. Okay. Uh, these okay. Man, these money can be uh, ploughed back in, and, and these projects can yeah. be finished. But Sunil Tiwari, coming back to the point on what can be done, the point that Mr. Modi is making that you know there have been some genuine reasons. Yes, we know that. But there have been, of course, a lot of yes. uh, those who have committed. some would say even criminal acts to sort of you know uh, deprive people from their hard earned money deprive people from those flats one or uh, perhaps uh, which i'm going to take to mr modi as well is that why can't we name and shame these people why can't we just put it out there so that the buyer knows who not to put their money in why can't everybody know exactly what the rates are because it's it's all up in the air it's all of it's all a very gray space we just don't know who to check with who to lean on 
So this is what is proposed under the RERA. Mm. Every builder has to register their project mm. themselves on the website of the regulatory authority. Mm. Over there, they have to give the entire background of their projects, how many projects they've done, how many they've been able to complete. Mm. Wherever there is delay, they have to notify over there. Mm. And RERA itself provides, in case that builder is not able to complete any project, mm. the authority can take over the project and get it completed. Mm. So only stopping the builder from completing the project yeah, or yeah, taking yeah, these yeah, actions yeah. will not be of any help. Mm. Unless the, there has been a thought about how to complete the project. Simultaneous okay. action has to be taken for completion of the project. Okay. Whether buyers take over or the authority takes That's over, the government takes over. That's going back to the point that over. you made earlier. But the end of the day, you got to complete the project. Everything yes. else can just yes. keep happening alongside. Buyer but you needs can't stop. You can't stop. It's, it's, is that something that you would be willing uh, to look at, uh, Mr. Modi, that you, know, you just don't stop the project? Even in this case now, the point that you're making is, yes, there were just some technical issues. They got one set of permissions. They didn't get another set of permissions. But, you know, it's little consolation to all those who were expecting to get their flat finally or perhaps, you know, in their heads had some time frame. Yeah, you know, Natasha, there are various issues, you know, so we, we cannot be mixing a Yamuna Expressway issue with some other issue, but yeah, the larger problem that there's been a delay, it's, it's well acknowledged and understood it's, it's, it's delay. You know, there could be probably a solution where, where uh, you know, like how America created a toxic asset uh, fund uh, at the height of post Lehman crisis. Mm. Uh, some kind of a fund can be created by the central government uh, mm. through its uh, nodal agencies like National Housing Bank or Odco, mm. which actually buys the unsold inventory f from the developer and pays the developer through an escrow mechanism mm. so that they are able to finish the project. Other projects at hand. Right. As suggested by the gentleman on the show that, you know, uh, Chief Minister can take over, that is easier said than done because there are multi-party interests already created. There's a development authority, there's a developer, there are banks, financial okay. institutions, and then there are thousands of home buyers. Okay. Right. So, I, so I that's, that's, okay. that's more like, uh, you know, wishful uh, thinking, but okay. it's not a practical I think the idea is just that somebody, I think the idea just now is, is, is perhaps that somebody get in and do something about it. Uh, quickly, 10 seconds yeah, is all you actually have. Actually, what I'm trying to say, what he is saying that is right, but the thing is that where there is no builder, hmm. how they how they complete that project, hmm. particular project. That, that is that, not covered in the radar also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that not covered in the radar also. Mm -hmm. And the land is, has been cancelled also by the mm -hmm. authority. At Which that point of time, what, what we buyers do. Right. As a skywalk, I, I, I am telling just, that, I think that five, 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 five years. That's just the helplessness. They have taken five years to cancel the... I see the point that you're making, the, uh, Mr. Alam. Yeah. That really investigation is, the, be is the helplessness. Quickly, yes. We demand an investigation into the land allotment also. Okay. How the authority has given so many projects to a single um, and builder. And how perhaps, the other question could also be that how new projects keep on getting launched when the old ones aren't finished. Shouldn't we just focus on that? Uh, but clearly this is the debate that's going to carry on. Let's just hope that with action like this, we can also see some attempt to clean up the system as it were. And all those uh, helpless and not uh, knowing where to turn from here do get some solace. But uh, uh, Rohit Raj Modi, Sunil Tyagi, Indrish Gupta and uh, Afna Balam, thanks all so much for joining us on the program. Well, that is a wrap on left, right and centre. On that note, keep your thoughts coming in. See you tomorrow. Goodbye, goodnight.